Um, are we prepared to defend Taiwan militarily? So, Chuck, what we've seen and what is of real concern to us is in increasingly aggressive actions by the government in Beijing uh, directed at Taiwan, uh, raising tensions in the Straits. And we have a commitment uh, to Taiwan under the Taiwan Relations Act, uh, a bipartisan commitment that's existed for, for many, many years to make sure that Taiwan has the ability to defend itself and to make sure uh, that we're sustaining peace and security in the Western Pacific. Uh, we stand behind uh, those commitments. And all I can tell you is it would be a serious mistake uh, for anyone to try to change the existing status quo by force. Do you understand if China looks at what our reaction was to Crimea and Russia and think, think those commitments are not as um, rock solid as you just outlined them as? Well, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's true. When, in the case of uh, Crimea, in the case of uh, the, the Donbass, the United States back then led a very significant international effort uh, to impose real costs and sanctions on Russia for its aggression in, uh, in Crimea. In, uh, in the Donbass. How's that worked uh, out, we've, uh, in fairness, well, sir? I mean, it hasn't worked so out what very we don't well. Have... Mr. Secretary, I, I, what, you, what you just outlined on Russia sounds like the exact same policy the Obama-Biden administration had towards Russia mm -hmm. on this. That, was, that, that is not positioned Russia to be better actors. That, didn't, that policy arguably didn't work. We're not saying that Trump's policy worked either. What is the Pentagon doing right now as they prepare to deal with whatever it is China's uh, thinking about doing with Taiwan? Uh, they're doing a lot of talking. I mean, I think the administration, as administrations, administrations in the past have done, really wants to be sh uh, to make sure that they don't have to actually do anything. It's, a, it's very similar to what you see, uh, the, the same, same uh, uh, role that the U.S. has adopted in the South China Sea and in the East China in the East China Sea with the, uh, China's uh, incursions into these uh, disputed islands. Uh, the United States is going to talk a very strong game and they're going to hope very much that they're not brought, uh, uh, that they're not, uh, their backs aren't put to the wall because there isn't really a plan in place. The administration seems on Russia and Afghanistan not to have new thinking here, right? And, and we could say that. There, it's a, a little more developed when it comes to how to handle China. They, they, they seem to have a point of view. Um, on, the, on the Russia front, um, they do seem to be a bit at square one at how to, how to have a constructive relationship with Putin. We're going back to, um, uh, to uh, 2015 and right. 2016 and 2013 and the Crimea, uh, the Crimea invasion. Ukraine is not in NATO, so there is no treaty obligation right. to protect Ukraine from from a Russian Russian incursion, but beyond that, um, this is again another another case of hoping it doesn't happen.